It's day 131 of the project and today's centre of the day is a brand new 2022 release hot off the press from Emporio Armani. This one is stronger with you only and I've been really looking forward to testing this one because as you all know I'm a massive fan of this line. So to find out my initial impressions uh, on this one and how it compares to all the other flankers in the line, stay tuned to Mags Frags. <laughs> Yes, hello again everybody and welcome to another episode of Mags Frags. I'm Paul and this is day 131 of my Fragrance 365 project where it's the fragrance that's the star of the show. Today's featured scent is an exclusive uh, first look at a brand new addition to the Stronger With You lineup from Emporio Armani. This is called Only and judging by the uh, note breakdown it looks like it's going to go in a, a different direction to the uh, the dark and the boozy absolute flanker that came out last year. Uh, the original Stronger With You uh, came out in 2017 and this one was followed by an intensely flanker which was uh, my favourite and still is uh, and then in 2019 we saw two different flankers we had freeze and we also had a leather one that I don't have and that was mainly for the uh, Middle Eastern markets and finally last year we saw the release of the absolutely flanker uh, which is the bad boy of the bunch which included boozy and residence notes I picked this one up from the Armani Beauty website and it cost uh, cost me £65 uh, because I had a little bit of a discount with it being my birthday last week so they sent me like a 10% discount voucher so yep came from the Armani Beauty website. Yeah, so into the presentation and the box is a, a very similar design to all the other flankers in the line uh, the only thing that differs is the colorway this one comes in a, a dark gray matte finish and all the way around the bottom of the box is the uh, is like these four metallic uh, bands we've got the name of the fragrance on the front and also the name of the house and we've got the size and concentration in this case it's an eau de toilette concentration there's a small um, logo, Armani logo on the top. We've got some uh, product information and the barcode on the back. And then underneath we've got the batch code and some more product information. Uh, and the batch code on this is 38UN004. So the bottle again is uh, very similar to the other flankers in the line and you get the chunky clear glass bottle and the chrome cap uh, but this has by far the uh, lightest coloured juice of the line. On the front you get the name of the fragrance and also the name of the house and then underneath you just get this little sticker again including the batch code. It's got a nice attractive round cap in a, a metallic pewter finish and it's a click on cap and both inside there and on top of the uh, on top of the, the atomizer there you get the Armani logos. The uh, sprayer is uh, really high quality as is the case with all of these Stronger With You flankers uh, and as always the presentation is first class and they look great when they're all lined up next to one another in all different colourways. Get into the note breakdown and the top note in this one is grapefruit. Uh, in the heart we've got lavender and geranium and in the base there's vanilla, chestnut and labdanum. So this one opens up very fresh and bright and from the initial spray the first thing that hits you is an explosion of zesty sparkling grapefruit and it's supported by the floral notes but neither the uh, lavender or the geranium stand out and it's the grapefruit that really uh, grabs your attention for the first 10 or 15 minutes. For the first minute or so though this one kind of reminds me of this one from Valentino and I was a little bit worried that it was just going to be like this inside a stronger with you bottle but I'm glad to say that it's not um, as this one dries down you start to detect that familiar stronger stronger with you DNA uh, with the chestnut and the, when the vanilla comes through and it just blends with the floral notes in the heart 
it's a, a brighter and juicier version of the original Stronger With You, uh, but that doesn't mean it's a, a diluted version. It's still as full bodied as all the others in the dry down, uh, but it's just got a lot more, a uh, lot more freshness up top, and definitely, I'd say it's definitely more versatile than any of the others uh, in the lineup. But I'll touch on that in a minute or so. Uh, there's some spiciness in the composition and some of the sweetness I'd say has been dialed back uh, from the other like if compared to the other flankers in the line uh, and I'd say it's also a touch more powdery just in the f uh, very far dry down and I've got to say that from my uh, initial first in impressions and the first couple of wearings of this I'm massively impressed Yet, as I've just mentioned, uh, this is definitely the most versatile in the lineup, and you could wear this pretty much all year round with no problem whatsoever. It's fresh enough to wear in the high heat of summer, and it's got enough depth to see you right through into the middle of autumn, uh, but that's when I would uh, pull out the Intensely flanker to see me through winter. Uh, you don't get rid of this little bad boy uh, that easily, Mr. Only. Uh, but seriously, if I, uh, if I only owned uh, this new flanker and the Intensely, I could easily get through the full 12 months of the year, and between them, uh, they'd cover every single occasion. I think you could wear this casually or dressed up, and it's just a, a jack of all trades. It's suitable for guys of any age, and it's basically a dumb reach mass appealing fragrance, uh, and possibly uh, one of my favourite releases of the past 12 months. I've only actually given this one a couple of full wearings, uh, but I've already had family members complimenting it, and I get constant wash from it, so there's definitely no issues in terms of its projection and sillage. Uh, in terms of longevity, uh, it may fall a touch behind the others slightly, just simply because of its uh, scent DNA, it's a bit more fresh and less sweet than the others. Uh, but so far today, um, I spread this one about six hours ago and it's uh, still going strong. So I think it's, uh, it's going to be there or thereabouts uh, with the others in terms of performance. Yeah, the Intensely Flanker will always be my favourite from this line, and I've got an ingrained bias towards that one. However, after two days of owning this one, it's just muscled its way in and stolen my heart straight into second place, and this will be the one that I reach for over the others as soon as the winter time is over. It's got a perfect balance of spices, sweetness and masculinity, and if anyone says anything bad about this one, you just let me know and I'll uh, send the boys around. Uh, but seriously, I'm well impressed by it. Uh, I didn't get the, uh, the best first impression when I sprayed it for the very first time, uh, but when it dries down, it's uh, bellissima. Uh, well done, Emporio Armani. This one is a straight 10 out of 10 from me. Yeah, so once again, that's about it for today's scent of the day. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, in the next episode, I'm going to be talking about a real powerhouse of a fragrance before the uh, the winter comes to an end. So that'll be uh, getting posted up online around about 7 p.m. tomorrow night. So look out for that one. And also this week, I am going to post uh, a video every night. I've got a brand, another brand new one on Thursday night, and in between, I've just got a, a couple of real big hitters. So a really exciting week with lots of good fragrances uh, this week coming up. So keep keep your eyes peeled for those and as always um, if you've enjoyed this video and you found it useful please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel it's also great to hear your opinions your thoughts and all your your critiques that uh, on all of these fragrances that feature in the 365 project so keep your comments coming down in the comments section so once again guys thank you very much once again for tuning into this episode stay safe keep smelling fresh and I'll see you very soon for another one bye bye for now